lot. It's, it's confusing. And it's unorthodox. I have to do this. I love you. But I love the idea of me being a mother more. What's good? What's good, everyone? Welcome back to the show, Man Recap with Mo. Well, we're getting ready to talk a little bit about Tyler Perry's sisters. But before we get into this thing, make sure to like and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss this and it that's going down, all right? So as I conveyed to you guys recently in my last video on Tyler Perry's sisters for season seven, the finale, I told you guys that we'll, we were going to have this discussion, all right? And I wanted to talk about the character Sabrina and her boyfriend, Rich. All right. And then I guess we'll talk a little bit about Damani. Right now, my thing is, there's this thing that's going on and it it may have been around for for a while. I'm not sure. I'm just noticing a lot more now that there are a lot of women who are willing to have the baby, but not have a man involved with her nor the baby. So, for example, Sabrina wants to have a child, but she doesn't care to have the man in that child's life, per se, right? So, in episode number, what, 21, when she was in the hospital waiting room and we saw Maurice talking to her, Damani was there, and Maurice brought up the topic about, you know, the father spending time with the child or whatnot, whoop, 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 and... Sabrina tells Maurice that no, the man is not going to be involved with the child at all, and he needs to understand that. And I think that I mentioned that Damani, from his expression, you could tell that he had a difference of opinion. But for Sabrina, she only sees him as a sperm donor, and that's it, no attachment. And I'm sitting here like, how in the heck can you do that? And I'm not trying to be judgmental at all. Trust and believe. I'm just honestly asking your opinions on this topic, man, because I'm seeing more and more women going out here doing this. They will prefer to go to the sperm donor instead. What's the attorney that was talking about? She would never date a bus driver, but if he owned the bus company or the, owned the bus or something like that, that she would actually, you know, date him at that moment. She went to a sperm bank, I believe. And I'm like, as successful as she is, dang, she can't find a man? Or or what they say on coming to America, I, I need a man to satisfy me, <laughs> right? I'm like, dad, go on. Like, what's really going on in the world today where I would just prefer to have the, the seed, but I really don't want the man that holds the seed. That's like me saying, well, I want the egg, but I don't want the woman with the egg. Like, what the heck? Like, it makes no sense in my mind, y'all. It, it, it's, it's, it's crazy to me. But I know for some people it works. But I honestly want to know your opinion because for me, I've always seen this traditional path. And let me just say, I know tradition doesn't always float for everyone. All right. So I'm just speaking for myself on this on this topic. All right. So for me, I've always envisioned my wife and my kids as one unit. But then you have some people who start off as a unit and they separate or they divorce. Right. And then they have the option of spending time with that child, even though they're no longer together as one unit. But then you have this category where I'm choosing to solely be by myself. I don't want the man at all. I just want what he can give me. And I don't want any attachments. And for me, I'm like, man, that's that's different. Because as I'm watching the show and I'm looking at the different discussions that's going on in the comments, you know, it's intriguing to me because, you know, that question never comes up. Like, why is she choosing to be by herself? Why is she choosing to have this baby alone? And then I'm thinking about the financial piece of all of this. All right. So you're raising this child by yourself and you chose that. It wasn't like y'all just fell apart, but you chose this. And now 
What if something happens financially? What do you do? You lean more so on your family? I guess that's what you would have to do or your friends. And I guess it's no different than growing up in a single parent household, right? But I think that's still a little bit different because you can always reach out potentially to that other individual to say, hey, I need your help. And I already know, I know what y'all saying. Like, what if the dude don't want to be in the child's life? I get that. What if I don't know who the father is? I get that. What if, you know, um, that person is, you know, deceased? I get all of that, right? But I'm, I'm specifically talking about this topic right here where she is choosing. Before Rich came into the picture, before he actually decided to change his mind. She was ready to go into the deep with this sperm donor, no attachment, and she was satisfied with the thought of that. And what made it sad as well is that her support system was her sisters, her friends, right? Yeah, we're here to support you even if Rich isn't there, even if Damani isn't there. The only male that was there was Maurice to be supportive. And of course, Damani, because he's given the seed. But where's the man that she should be loving? That should be loving the baby that's within her womb. That's holding her throughout the night. All of those things she will miss. And then when that child is born, where's the voice? Where's the voice that that child heard within the womb? That can calm that child down in the middle of the night. Like all of those things are imperative as a unit, as a family, man. So I'm glad that Tyler put that in there because that's that's the world that we're living in for real. And I just wanted to get your thoughts on it. I didn't want to dive in it too deep because, you know, sometimes when we get too deep into the discussion, it's almost like a fight. We're going back and forth. It's a tug of war, which I'm fine with if it's respectful, right? Because we're just here to have the conversation. And I told you guys we were going to talk about it. So I want to know your thoughts down below. This is a quick video. I just want to know your thoughts. How did you feel about, you know, her making this decision on her own? You may be fine with it. You may see nothing wrong with it. And then there may be some who say, no, I absolutely disagree with what she's doing with herself how she decided to make this choice and and all of those things. So I get it. I just wanted to be the voice of reason and just put my thoughts out there and see what we can come up with in the comments. And let's talk about it because I got another video coming your way and we're going to be talking about somebody else. So we're going to, we're going to talk about Brother Hayden a little bit and this whole Tamara situation, but we, we're going to get into it. Also, be on the lookout for um, episode one and episode two of Ruthless. I think Ruthless is coming out today. My first recap. And episode number two is coming out later on tomorrow night. So be on the lookout for that. With that being said, man, let me get up out of here. Make sure to like and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss shiznit that's going down, man. I'm going to talk to y'all soon, man. Peace.